Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the user registration API in UI Builder using Codeless Logic. If you are going through our missions uh, program and uh, you are on the task to do user registration with API, this task will demonstrate exactly the approach that you uh, should follow. Uh, keep in mind that the instructions for that task require you to use a specific email address for the user and specific password. So you will be able to use this solution that I'm going to demonstrate for those uh, purposes, but make sure that the email address and password are exactly as they are in the instructions. However, the solution that I will demonstrate is going to be more of a general purpose. Okay, so here I am in UI Builder. I have a blank page. Uh, well, it's a page that follows the landing page template. And uh, to start, I will add a uh, panel component, or we could just add a block component. Let's add panel to the page. And uh, I, I would like to center it just so it looks a little bit better. To center it, I will select the workspace block, which is the one that contains all of the UI components on the page. It is right under this header. So select the workspace and then go and uh, find the justify section. Click this icon and in the align items, click this one. Now, if we select the actual panel, all of it, and then go to the dimensions and in the dimensions for width, let's set it to 40%. And then for height, let's set it to 50%. And then same for max height, 50%. So now it looks a little bit better. Let's set the title to user registration and change the uh, header of this panel to somewhat, uh, maybe a little bit darker color, like light gray. Very good. So now we have this form. Well, it's not really a form. It's just a panel that will contain the fields for user registration. Let's drag out an input field. This will be for the email address and another input field for the password. And finally, a button that will be used to perform the actual user registration. Select the first input field, change the label to uh, email address, email address and then the second one is going to be password if you want to change it to the type password where the user cannot see where all the, the password is actually masked then in the type change it to password the button let's change the id to user registration button there you go all right so at this point we have all the ui components in place. Let's take a look if the page looks exactly as we want. There you go. It looks good. And uh, now let's start adding logic. So the, the way it will work is both of these fields, we will use data binding to place anything that the user types in into page data, which is a special shared space in the on that page that all UI components can see. So the data that you will that the user will be typing in into the email address and password goes into page data and then the button will take the data out of page data to use in the api call let let's set up binding data binding select input component for the email address in fact the id we should probably change to email address input oops input and this one will be password input always a good idea to assign ids that are meaningful to your input components well not just input components to all ui components that you have on your page all right so let's set up data binding select this component click this icon here and then scroll down to the value logic and then here we can say in email address that's going to be the name of the property in page data that will contain the value that the user types in in the input field and let's repeat the same thing for the password uh, input click on the logic icon and then go to value logic and type in password all right so at this point 
whatever user types in in these two fields, that will is guaranteed to end up in page data. That's just how data binding works. Okay, and at this point, select the button and then go to the button's logic and then click this green icon for the on-click event. This is the logic that will be executed when the user types in the value. Of course, uh, the proper way would be to validate that the fields uh, have values and then the email address and the proper format and so on. Uh, but we will just jump right into making the API call. So under users API in the back handless category, you will see this block that says register user. And as you can see, it has two connectors, one for email, the other for password. And in here, we just need to extract data from page data. And uh, to do this, let's go to the object uh, section under system and get the get property. So we will be getting the property called email address, which is the property name that we assigned in data binding for the email address input. And that's going to come from page data. Then select this, copy and paste, connect to password, and change this to password. This is it. That's all it takes to get the user registration going. Uh, there, of course, there are additional ways to do the, uh, the kind of error handling in case if there is an error, catch that error, display it. If you go through the UI Builder training course in our, uh, in our YouTube channel, there is a playlist for UI Builder training. It covers all of those points, and I highly recommend going through that. But for now, this is going to be the scope of this exercise here. So if we go back to the user interface, and uh, let's just run this page. And what I'm going to do is I will use the email address and password that is required by uh, the uh, missions program. So here the email address is going to be this one, jamesbond at mi6.co.uk. And then the password I will just copy and paste from the instructions. You will not be able to see it here, but if you're going through the missions program, that's going to be the password. Oh, we didn't change the label for the button. Okay, that's you know that this button does the registration. So click this button. And at this point, if we go to our application, it's going to be right here. Well, there you go. See, we, we just completed, um, <laughs> I completed this task in my uh, missions account. So we know that that is working. But if we go back to backend and uh, look under data, and then select the users table. Well, it is select selected automatically. You can see that there is an account created for that specific user. And that tells you that this is working. If you want to change, by the way, the title of that label, select the, I mean, the title of the button, select the button and uh, change it to register. Yep, that looks a little bit clearer. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. That's how you uh, register users uh, in UI Builder using Codeless Logic. I do hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy Codeless coding.